With record heat across the country and cases of skin cancer on the rise, protecting your skin is more crucial than ever. More than one million new cases of skin cancer will be diagnosed in the U.S. this year alone. Now the FDA is cracking down, unveiling a new rating system for sunscreens. And joining us to walk us through it is New York University Assistant Professor Dr. Doris Day. Good morning. Good to see you again, Dr. Day. All right, there have been so many different warnings out there, and it gets a little bit confusing. And so kind of walk us through these new recommendations by the FDA. Okay, well, it's about time that these new recommendations are, are presented. Mm -hmm. So there's three basic things. One is in the wording. So instead of calling it sun protection factor, it's now sunburn protection factor. Okay. So you don't think that sun protection is actually invincible. The other thing is to recognize that people aren't using enough sunscreen. So in the instructions, instead of saying apply it evenly, it's saying apply it generously or liberally. Mm -hmm. The most important part of what this ruling does is it acknowledges that there's two wavelengths of light that we need to be aware of, both UVB and UVA. So UVB is where we have the SPF, or right. sunburn protection factor now, as we call it. And you can start with a level two, and the highest level now will be SPF 50 plus. So no more SPF 70 or 80, it's SPF 50 plus. Now, how, what do derm dermatologists feel about that? Well, you know, in the beginning, they had it as SPF 30 plus, and we were up in arms and said, you can't do this. We need higher SPFs than, than 30. So they've moved it up to an SPF 50 plus. And the FDA's point on this is that at a higher SPF than 50, with the instruments and the technology we have now, mm -hmm. you can't get a reproducibly higher SPF in the lab. So if it says SPF 60 or 70, they're saying you can't actually test it to prove oh, that it's right. truly that. So SPF 50 plus from the technology now is what we can max so out at. So you know that you have have that. Exactly. Okay. But the worry of the dermatologist is that you'll take away the incentive of the mm. pharmaceutical companies or the drug companies or industry to make better sunscreens that are stronger. Isn't there a new rating system as well for right. the UVA rays? Exactly. That's the second part. So now UVA is finally getting what it deserves, which is equal billing. So now there's a four-star scale for UVA. If there's no UVA in the product, it has to say on it, no UVA protection. One star is low UVA, and it goes up to four stars, okay. which is the maximum, which is the highest UVA protection. The FDA is also proposing, you're talking about language in that, and yeah. they're proposing a new label. And in part, I want to read part of what it says, it is important to decrease UV exposure by limiting time in the sun, wearing protective clothing, and using a sunscreen. So what do you make of this new label? I think that's also really important because it's what I call sun smart behavior. Using sunburn protection or sun protection is not quite enough by itself. Limiting your time in the sun within reason. I mean we tell people don't be couch potato, go outside but don't get any sun. You have to have a balance mm -hmm. about it. So it's saying limit your time in the sun especially when the sun's rays are most damaging which is the shadow rule. The shorter your shadow the more dangerous the rays of the sun. So if you look down and you don't have a shadow try and stay in the shade. Say that again because I think that is so important and it helps people understand. Yeah. It's very simple. The shorter your shadow, mm -hmm. the more dangerous the rays of the sun. So if you look down, and that's usually when the sun is highest right. at noon, you'll see that your shadow is very short or even invisible. That's when the sun's rays, especially the UVB rays, are mm -hmm. the most damaging. So sun protection typically is not really enough in those times. Mm -hmm. So if possible, stay in the shade. Cloudy does not protect you. Going in the water does not protect you. You need sun protection all year round. So that labeling is acknowledging that there are limits to sunscreen and that you need to do a little bit more. And I think that's brilliant as well. It is. And also just lather it on. Yes. Put it on Generously, off again. liberally. These all are right. great words. All right. Dr. Day, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for me. walking us through it. Have a great weekend. You too. In the shade. Okay. <laughs> Coming up next, the, uh, you, you've heard of sun and surf, which we've been talking about. How about glacier and surf? Wipe out when we come back.